We survived for over a year in Project Zomboid and rebuilt society in the Riverside gated community. We had our ups. Would you like to sit with me and eat some beans by the river? I would, I would. And downs. Yeah, I found a gun, so uh, I'm gonna shoot Eric with a shotgun and- Why are you gonna shoot me? And things were going well. At least, that was until we split up for a looting run at West Point, and when we returned, we found that our entire base was engulfed in flames. Wait, what the heck? Is that our base? That's not our base. That is our- that's our- what the crap? All of our supplies, our hard work, even some of our friends. Hey, do you smell something burning? What? Burnt to the ground. That definitely had nothing to do with me accidentally leaving the oven on earlier. I'm like 94% sure of that. In the aftermath of the disaster, three of our eight survivors were killed. With our base in ruins and we were only left with a few vehicles and scavenged supplies, we were left with no other choice. We had to re-rebuild society. This is Eric with Pixel Rookie, and this is the story of five idiots who rebuilt society, and now we have to rebuild it again. At this point, most of the fire died down, but the damage was done and more zombies were coming. We had to leave. All right, we got to get out of here, guys. Let's go. All right, let's leave. And I swear, guys, first off, I swear this is your fault. I can't prove it, but I'm blaming you for it. Hey, Clark. <laughs> I'm going to okay, shoot okay, you, I'm Jack. Sorry. I'm so I had nothing to do with this. I don't know why you would think it was me. Uh, I was out. Regardless, I, I don't care. I'm still blaming you for Teo's death, if anything. <laughs> I can safely say that Teo's death, uh, RIP Tao, was all his own hubris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a master of the blade. No, 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 this is not <laughs> my Wait, wait, what's happening here? Oh, Gax! Riley! Good timing. We heard an explosion and what? Exploded, what happened? Oh, uh... Small update, uh, we, we... Long story short, Eric blew everything up. It's all his fault. Yeah, we did, we lost everything. Okay, first of all, don't listen to Clark. Clark, oh, blah, 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 blah. it was Eric's fault. No, being honest, giving our track record, I'm amazed we have survived this far, so... Here's the biggest question then, Eric. What do we do now? Before we start spiraling over control, let's, uh, let's figure something out here. Even though everything was turned upside down, our fearless leader, Button, was able to come up with the perfect plan on the fly. We're, we're starting over from almost ground zero, but there are going to be some places on the map that are going to be relatively untouched by other players and by the dead, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I've been thinking about this for a while, if we ever had to relocate, <laughs> a while being today, uh, <laughs> we could go move to the prison, which is a little bit of a trek. It would be a bit of a road trip, so we'd have to make some stops to prepare for that kind of journey, but... Do you have a cool plan name for this? Um, no. <laughs> That's my vote as far as places to go, because I think that if we would be able to take it over successfully, and I think we could. So I think it's it's worth checking out at least. Rosewood's nearby, so if that hasn't been hit, then we could do some runs there. We're going to need gas for sure. And we have we have quite a bit of food in the trailer back here from the last run that we didn't get a chance to drop off. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> We should be good to at least make most of the journey, and then if we have to make more stops along the way, we can do that. Well, I'm taking your advice so far, and it's got us alive, so... I'd say if we go through West Point, then we can at least fill up our gas at Mole Draw. It's not a bad idea. Um, also, Fearless Leader, I did notice something. The van, um... Where are my keys at? Oh, I have the keys. Um... About that, why, why do you have the keys? All right, hop in the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> so Riley and Gax are going to be in one car. Clark's going to be in the truck. Me and Eric are going to be in the other car. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Our meeting concluded and it was settled. We'd take what supplies we had from our last looting run and relocate to the Rosewood prison. Everyone got back in their vehicles and the caravan took off, leaving the ruins of Cucktown behind for good. It was good timing too, because hordes of zombies were still being drawn to the area. Things were going smoothly as the group made it to the northern entrance of Maldra. We took a moment to refuel, and while Button was distracted, I saw a window of opportunity. <laughs> uh, hey Button. Sorry, what's up? What happened there? Uh-oh. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> my head! I looked away from my computer for like five seconds. Button, thank you for letting me take over the driving. I understand. Ah! Button, I think you made a terrible choice. I just want to mention. I that understand you. that you acknowledge uh, your incompetence of driving compared to me, so I appreciate you letting mm -hmm. me take over. 
Yeah, keep going. It's still funny. <laughs> also, all the way slow pokes. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, wait, we're getting close to the gas station, aren't we? Oh jeez. Oh yeah, let's stop for gas. Let's stop for gas. We're gonna need it. Hey, oh wow, there are a lot of zombies. I'm actually gonna do some weaving. Hold on, wait, is that a noise? I heard a gunshot. Did anyone else hear that or am I going crazy? Listen up, when we get to the gas station- All right, well, I'm at the gas station and there's gunshots here. You guys should get over here now. And they're not you, You're. it's not you shooting. No, it's not me. And there's a car here. What? Okay, we, we could be dealing with other players. Hey, what the yeah. f*** you doing next to my car? Relax. Relax. Gun. Relax. Put it Boy, the f*** down hey, first. Hey, why do you have a plunger? Clark should not be the face of the party. Let's get over there. Uh, okay, we gotta get over there. Something's going down. Where is, like, I'm going to the right place? Like, Yeah, now I'm a little confused. Did I pass the gas station? Oh, we are way past the gas station. I think I <laughs> Somehow Clark arrived at the gas station way before the rest of us. I don't know how that could have happened. Anyways, we had to get there quickly. Here, if you want to prove your worth, help me kill some of these zombies. Yeah, well, how about you cover my back, I cover yours, and we don't die. Sound good? I can agree with that. Fair enough. Let's go. Button, pull up the map. Look where we, <laughs> look how far we driven out of the way. <laughs> this is we. Hang on. Do you see how fast Eric switched to look how far we've driven out of the way? Do you know what's funny? I was following Eric and just like, damn, he knows where to go. <laughs> no, no, he was mistaken. Is it just you out here or do you have friends? Uh, well, I mean, I got a couple of morons that are usually with me, but I don't know where the f they ended up. Uh, here it with. is. Uh, oh, you like that? You see me? Do you see me whip? Wow, Tokyo Drift. Oh my God, what the? Are f those your friends? Speaking of a morons, that would be them. All right. Hey, we're here to help. Oh, uh, guns. Who needs a gun? Okay, they're all dead. <laughs> oh. Wow, we got we got here just in time. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. I go by Humberto. Humberto, do you have double plungers equipped? Yeah, you got a problem with it? Oh, no, the only problem is it's way cooler than what I got. Come over here. Whoever's the leader of the group here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, this is a peace offering. Yeah, boys. Oh, -ho. let's go. Now, this is what I call a peace offering. Somebody yeah. lost their glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need those. That actually yeah, looks. Yeah. That actually looks so sick. You went. You went from psychopath to like hipster real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had some aviators on, but took a tumble. Wait, guys, come over here. Let's get out of this corpse pile here. Uh, come down here. Where are the two? Where are the two new people? Redhead guy and katana guy. Humberto, don't wear it out. What's your name, buddy? <laughs> he, he doesn't talk much. Uh, yeah. he's, our friend here doesn't talk much. Well, we have him. He's a mute. We can obviously trust him. The cigars? Yeah, I can trust you. So, here's a question. What, what were you guys doing? Where are you going? So, we're filling up at this gas station here. Filling up uh, old Betsy down there. Oh, that looks good. And then uh, we're going to go up there and raid that police station. There's a police station over here? Yeah, there's a police station a little bit up north here. If uh, if you guys want, we can hit it up together, split some of the loot. Always appreciate a helping hand. Fate led us to two other survivors that were clearly very capable and seemed trustworthy enough. I had an idea and consulted with Button. Hey, hey Button, can I, can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? So, they can't hear me, I'm sure. Bunch of idiots. Anyways. Do they usually do this? Yeah, a lot, actually. Don't worry about him. He's a moron. Do you think we should ask them to come with us? If we can get these supplies that, you know, maybe they could come with us to the prison. Obviously, I mean, look at all these corpses. They can obviously hold their own, so... They do have they do have weapons, and we're going to need at least the weapons to clear the prison, if not the people. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt. So, hey, guys. So, we had a base. Uh, It, it got destroyed. We're actually on our way to Rosewood. We should point out. We should point out the base was very well constructed and maintained, courtesy of the leader of our group. But we're looking to try and go to the the Rosewood prison and take it over, make that our new home. You know, it's like a fortress. We get a foundation there. Have you even been there? I mean, that's the plan to go there, scope it out, see what's going on. Guys, the plan is to re rebuild society. Re rebuild. Yo yeah. You know, I was back there in '72, and those uh, walls do look pretty sturdy. You down to clown? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm down. Let's do this, brother. That is awesome. I am. I don't know what else to say other than. <laughs> you, know, you know, I respect it. I, I got some. I got some moves myself. You know. Oh whoa. We don't whoa. mind getting groovy out here. 
it was settled. Umberto and Eri the Mute joined our team and a celebration was had. Where's this police station? So it's, uh, it's actually really close nearby, just a little bit up north. The police station was just a few blocks away, so the group walked up there with the hopes of finding some supplies. We arrived, but things didn't look promising. All right, boys, back her up. This does look moderately pillaged and used. Well, one way to find out, boys. And while the police station was mostly pillaged, we still needed to be careful. Oh, thanks, Clark. You're welcome. It looked like this trip wasn't a complete loss, though. Clark kept his trusty sledgehammer on hand to breach any locked doors. I do see a generator. We lost all of our generators. That might not be a bad thing to carry. We did, actually. We did lose our generator. Yeah. Here, I'll grab that. But guys, they did, um, they do have three sheets of paper collectively through the three filing cabinets, so pretty good haul in here. I'm going to drop the generator outside, and we should probably come by with the cars to pick it up because it is very heavy. Well, since all of your people, well, I guess we should think as a group now, you know, we can put the generator in my car. It's uh, pretty roomy. Where Whereabouts is your car? It's at the gas station. You didn't see the beauty of Betsy when you were down there? Hold on. Wait a minute. You you call your car Betsy? Yes, yes, of course, of course. He's driving with me. Yeah, you know what, guys? I realized I think our bean supply is pretty low. I'm going to make my way to the van and start bringing it over. Wait, you're you're a bean, you're a bean guy? Whoa, bro. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Do you like, oh, got, oh, got, oh got, so I love beans. I got a, I got a scare. Oh, dude, you really, you know, if there are trust issues, we wouldn't have that anymore. Hey, cheers. Clink, clink. Mm. Clink. Just an FYI, I am well fed, courtesy of your beans. Oh, wow. Betsy's a nice looking one. We drove back to the station where Button was waiting with our new generator. But it looked like we made too much noise and attracted the attention of the locals. Yeah, we're kind of getting a little surrounded. All right, we're, this is getting, this is getting hairy. Yeah, do we fight or do we leave? Because we haven't gotten our gas yet. Ah, real men fight. Man, you're pretty good with that crowbar there. I've been beating zombies for a year straight, boy. <laughs> okay, I've got the generator in the back of the truck here, in the trailer. The horde was cleared and we were almost ready to leave Muldrum. Button, button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm getting the passenger seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We went back to the gas station to refuel before moving on. So, Button, you're not doing anything productive. You want to get out and pump gas for me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. The gas might be on the other <laughs> side of the vehicle. Just heads up. Oh, you like that? Oh, wait. <laughs> you're, you're a moron. <laughs> Oh, so that's, you wanna... the same, that's the same so, side. Okay, so shh, shh. Okay, be careful. Oh, there's. Uh, we don't have power, so we're not going to be able to actually get gas because we need to hook up the generator to the gas oh, station. Oh. The gas. <laughs> Got him. Oh, wait. There we go. Does anybody have uh, the ability to hook up generators? Because we need to read a magazine to actually be able to do that. I'm not... I have engineering stuff. Is that the right skill? Riley, our engineer, will set up the generator and we okay. can get gas. Thanks to Riley, we refilled our tanks and it was time for the group to caravan to the Rosewood prison. So I think I think we're all ready to go to the prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh dude. I just realized. Button, I'm so sorry. I didn't have the heater on. Oh. There we go. Oh, you like that? Do you see that button? Do you see that? I didn't do it the normal way. I did the fancy way. You are a, you are a marvel to us all. Thank you. Thank you. Whipping it out. Let's go, boys. Guys, literally still at the gas station. Not even in the car yet. Oh, wait. I guess we should wait. I'm sure this would be a completely normal road trip without any issue. You want to race? I think uh, Betsy uh, here. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gax, how about we just stay away from that? Yeah, it looks like I'm in the lead now. It's the only... Oh, my God. I'm injured. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very severely damaged. But are you okay? I'm very severely damaged. <laughs> hey, the life of the roadster ain't for everyone, friend. It's a straight road. It's a straight road. <laughs> If I, oh my god, if, if I put a stick in the steering wheel and a brick on the gas pedal, I'd have a better chance of surviving this car ride. If you recall, the van was in this exact condition prior to us leaving. Oh! 
Wait, be careful. Good kill. I hope none of you guys have your life. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. There's a four lane highway for four entire cars. <laughs> oh, give me a boost. Oh. What the f <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into Mad Max. <laughs> Gotta watch out, Gax. I don't, I don't take kindly to people trying to pass me. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Our headlights are out. Okay, I am actually highly critically damaged now. <laughs> I'm very close to death. <laughs> but we do still have a heater, so at least you should be mildly comfortable with the temperature. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Did we stall? Oh my No, no, God. no, we didn't stall. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Is this the road? Yes. Hey, hey. I've been here before. We got this. I just want to make it known that every single accident that has occurred with this van is not my fault. People bumped into me. That is a lie. <laughs> I would like to share that I have gone from highly critically damaged to just critically damaged. Is this the right way? Yes. Oh, I am. I am lagging out, gentlemen. Uh oh. Well, it's a good thing I'm driving, isn't it? Um. <laughs> oh, I I stopped lagging just in time to watch you crash into the tree. <laughs> no, it's kind of like you know when your computer's not working, you gotta bang it. I, I did that for you. Yeah, it actually did. Fix, it did fix the lag. Oh wait, is this it? Oh, this is it. All right. After our totally safe trip that had no issues at all, we finally arrived at our new home. Hopefully it wasn't too overrun with zombies. Sweet. Okay. Wait, so this is the entrance? This is the entrance. Eric, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm sorry, you need to learn how to drive and maybe it won't be an issue. Alright, let's uh let's let's get inside. Let's find a safe spot to kinda huddle up here. Gather up by the, the gate entranceway, because that's gonna be kind of a natural choke point for us to deal with this. Oh, there is a lot in that police station, friends. Well, let's get that dealt with. Yeah, Gax and I are going to split over here and start clearing them out from the outside, because I don't have shotguns. Yeah. I assume the shotguns will handle. Yeah, you guys you guys can handle the window. We'll handle uh, the crowds over here. Okay, just uh, <laughs> Eric and whoever else is out there, come back here. The, apparently, the entire police force of Kentucky made their way to the prison. <laughs> well, I don't know if you heard, but there was rumors of it planned extraction here, so mm -hmm. who knows? Oh no. Why do I hear- I heard someone chomping. You guys, I have bad news. Gax? I was beaten. Gax? You're, oh, you're a bit, the, the crunching sound was Gax being bitten. That's not good. Here, let's clear this place out, then we can discuss. Oh, no, but, but, this beside you. Thank you. There's a lot going on. It's hard to keep track of yeah. it all. No. Here, get out of there. Get. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Alright. Um, I got dibs on the katana. Alright, everyone, retreat, retreat. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Go out, go out, go out, go out. Well, you know, if there are people living in, uh, Rosewood, well, they'll definitely know they have new neighbors moving in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody on the server is gonna know exactly where we are. Okay, I have foolishly trapped myself in a corner. I'm coming. Uh, in the top right. Top right, come and come, 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 come. Holy smokes, right. did we cut that close? Thank you. We, we got you, we got you. Who are we missing? Eerie's dead. We're missing Clark. Uh, he's probably fine on his own. <laughs> yeah, Clark, Clark just kind of <laughs> went green beret into the heart he, he, of the yeah. prison. Clark's gonna solo the entire left wing of the prison. There was finally a moment of peace, but the damage was already done. We grouped together to discuss what to do. All right, I think this is now a time for a public meeting. Now, I've lost a dear friend here, and you guys have one bidden. Now, I don't know about- It's not also bidding, it's already infected, so like... Uh oh, 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 oh wait, 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 oh. Button, being a doctor, knew that if we were able to remove Gax's hand before the infection spread, we could still save him. All right, so Gax, uh, I got, I got bad news, and I got good news. Um, the bad news is that your left hand's f Um... <laughs> The good news is that you have two hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that good news, Doc. Okay, okay, let me see, Doc. Like, do you say I'm gonna lose my left hand, so I'm gonna be all right? <laughs> it does mean you're gonna be all right, exactly. <laughs> like, we don't even need to have an infirmary. It just needs to be a clean room. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Back, 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 back. 
Wow, they're actually holding the choke point pretty well. Dang, yeah, no kidding. Okay, this is where we're gonna do the operation. This room. It's this room seems fairly central to the prison, so I feel like this should be, in, as we're clearing it out and getting it set up, kind of our, our impromptu base of operations. That sounds good. And there's bleach, so if things go south, we can just drink it. Scratch that. Let's make our base of operations the room with all the cells, because we're gonna need a place to sleep. Oh, that's true, yeah. We got beds. Okay, so this area is clear. What about over here? Well, Guys, here. there's a big cell in here. There's probably gonna be zombies. Let's check it out. It's actually surprisingly empty. Oh, there's one. There's one. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Right there. Wait, what? What the heck? Hey, are you? Are you? Are you alive? Who? <laughs> Who are? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hanging out here. <laughs> wow. Oh, he seems friendly enough. Wait, boy. That's pretty convenient that the guy's here. Do you want to join us, prisoner? That is awfully convenient, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 no, 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 it's okay. Well, so it just so happens that there is a single prisoner that managed to survive the prison who happened to be a mute and wore a motorcycle helmet. This prison wing was cleared out and gave us a footing to lay the foundation of our new home. All right, yeah, yeah, time to take a nice sit. We gathered around the cell hall where Button could share his thoughts on what to do next. Okay, so immediate items on the agenda. One, we gotta get Gax's hand off because it's gonna get necrotic and infected. And he'll turn into a zombie. I mean, that too. That's an important thing we want to try and stop. We have enough supplies for that. Two, we want to move all of our supplies into the prison. Um, we're gonna pick a wing or a couple rooms that we're gonna section off from the rest of the prison because there's no way right now we can fortify the whole thing. But we can definitely fortify a section of it pretty safely. Yeah, yeah. We're also gonna probably want to start doing a couple scouting trips to Rosewood just to see kind of the state of the town. We passed through it, but it looked pretty active. So who do you want in charge on those missions? Go team. Oh, we'll figure that out. Yeah, we, we can TBD. For now, let's have some tea and relax and get some sleep. With the cell block secured, we decide to name our new home Cuck Hold. Actually, I did want to do something. I wanted to go out for a minute. Uh, it looks like the coast is clear. So if you guys don't mind, you know, it's not safe to go alone. No, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll just take me a couple minutes, but I'll be back. So whatever. I said goodbye to the others and walked through the carnage left in our wake. I had some unfinished business I needed to attend to. I left the safety of the prison walls and made my way into the nearby forest. My dear friend was lost. And with all the chaos, I never got to properly say goodbye. I'll tell. Everything happened so fast. All I could do was scoop up your ashes in this empty bean can. I wanted to lay your ashes out here for you, friend. I also brought your katana. I know it meant a lot to you, man. And wherever you're going, I know you're going to want a couple of cans of beans to tide you over. And finally, I brought your favorite drink. A nice fresh bottle of bourbon. Man, where'd it go wrong? I guess it's probably when you caught on fire and then died. But man, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Honestly, I don't even know how to tell you this, man. I guess this is the only way I can do it. Alright, here it goes. I will remember you. Will, will you, you remember, remember me? Don't let, let your life pass you by. Weep not for the memory. Weep not for the memories. Sure, I'm happy you guys followed me out here. I don't miss him, guys. And I know he loved you guys too. Especially you, Clark. You really had a special place for you in his heart. Can you hotwire a car? Can you hotwire my dick into your mouth, Clark? Shut up! How was. Dear friend of ours. Well, he was an <laughs> but I'll miss him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you know what they say, the life of a warrior, you live by the blade, you die by the blade. I would die by fire. <laughs> live by the blade, catch fire and don't know how to stop, drop and roll by the blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I don't know what we need to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What started as a sad memorial ended up being a happy moment to honor Tao's life. Together, we walked through the woods back to our new home. After all, there was still a lot of work to be done here. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I want to thank my patrons who are generously supporting the channel so I can continue to make more content like this. I really appreciate all of you. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Do you have anything to report? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, you were right. We definitely have new neighbors. We saw at least four vehicles passing through town towards the prison. I feel that it's important to point out that the van was driving much more skillfully than the others. Hmm. So that explains all the commotion and gunfire. <sighs> They're really gonna try and turn this prison into their home. <laughs> they must be incredibly brave or really stupid. Perhaps both. I thought the prison would make a great base for us, but the risk is too high to try and clear it out. I want you to keep an eye on our new friends from a distance. Make sure they don't see you. If they can successfully inhabit that prison, maybe we'll need to make arrangements to meet them. For now, lay low and report any updates directly to me. Yes sir, Mr. Mayor.